good afternoon. I've been working on my uh, Waffen SS painting over the last uh, couple of days over the Christmas break. So I've got some painting done on Christmas Day and Boxing Day, and I think I've just about completed them. Uh, these are the Warlord uh, Waffen SS metal figure set um, that I got a few months ago. Uh, and this is the kit here. And you get 20, although uh, having said 20 on the box, I've got 22, uh, so I'm not sure uh, what happened there, but uh, I think there's 22 there. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I've got 21. So um, I've finished them off in two camo patterns. Uh, one is the autumn, sort of orange and brown, and one is the green. I'm not sure what the green's called, I can't remember, but uh, there's, t there's two patterns. Uh, sort of autumn uh, P-dot type stuff. Um, and the sort of green, two or three shades of green. And, and a bit of brown there, I think, as well. Um, I've gone away from, uh, oh, 22, there's the officer, 22 figures. So I've um, kind of done a different basin system this time, previously all my bolt action figures have been more rural with sort of grass and uh, 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 mud, um, and I've I've seen a few of these uh, sort of more urban bases online, so I decided to try some out uh, myself and uh, I'm quite pleased with them uh, they're the sort of grey dust and uh, bricks and the occasional bit of uh, wood splinters uh, added in so I'll probably do a few sets um, with the urban bases there's my mortar tomb with a few bricks and you can see that one there has got uh, a couple of old broken bits of wood and some bricks. So um, I'm quite pleased with those. I've just started uh, basing up, or doing the bases for some Falsium Jaeger that I've finished since I've done these. Uh, another 30 German Paris. To add my pre to my previous uh, platoon. So let's have uh, a little bit of a closer look at uh, one or two of them, and there you can see in a bit more detail the camo pan and the base work. And here's the uh, machine gun crew, both in different camos. Now the light has um, made a little bit of a colour cast on these, so they're not 100% uh, accurate. Um, so for instance the faces look a lot more flesh coloured than they do in this uh, video. Um, there's the officer. Um, oh, I don't know what He's in there. That's a Falchion Yoga. So that uh, shows the old base bases that I did. Um, uh, you can compare the two now. So that must mean there's 21 figures in the set and not 22. <coughs> um, well, oh, we've got the uh, a medic. Um, 
and uh, the mortar crew. So with these, uh, I've cut the bases in half and uh, made a little space for them. They, uh, whoops! I put um, washers on the bottom, as I do with all my figures now, and I drilled out a little hole in the base and put magnets. I mean, they're not super strong, but uh, they just give a little bit of extra support when you're moving. Um, I mean, they won't uh, they won't stay on if you tip it out, but uh, just give a little bit of extra support. Of course, the trick is to make sure that, um, you've got the space for the bases absolutely sort of accurate. Because when you, um, I, I put the sort of polyfiller on with the bases in place, leave it to dry for a while, and then pull the bases off, and then you've got to tidy all this up to make sure that this is nice and smooth and flat. And I haven't quite finished them, but uh, they'll slot in there. So that's my Waffen SS completed, or the metal the metal kit. Uh, I've got two uh, boxes of plastic that I need to uh, sort out, which uh, will be in my next project after my German Paris. Thanks for watching.